Okay, so Sean, I'm wondering, um, could you tell us a little bit of background about why we're growing sun hemp before broccoli? It seems that uh, most people are growing cover crops over the winter. What's going on here? Yeah, that's a great point. Um, you know, growing cover crops in the summertime, you can basically get a lot quicker growth and really um, quite a bit of biomass and as well as nitrogen fixation. So the sun hemp is a nitrogen fixer. It's got um, bacteria that live in the root system and little nodules. And those bacteria uh, take nitrogen out of the air, bring it into the, the plant, and then back into the soil for our succeeding crop of broccoli. And then uh, with this one, we mixed uh, Japanese millet. There's a flower on it right here, so you can see what the flower looks like. And I felt, I, when it, sun hemp alone, I feel like doesn't provide um, enough biomass as well as enough shade in the understory to prevent weeds from growing. So mixing these two, two together, I think might provide a little more um, weed suppression than just having the sun hemp alone. The Japanese millet's a really good weed suppressor. But, um, so we're planting them both at really high rates. I feel like when you're doing no-till, you really have to up your rate, your seeding rate, to get enough um, smothering of those weeds. So with this one, Rachel, what do we do with this? The sun hip is at 100 pounds per acre and the millet is at 50 pounds per acre. So both at high rates, even if they were used alone. 